Hey guys, it's Miss Miranda. Welcome back to our trumpet and trombone class. This week's Google Classroom lesson is going to focus on learning, or if any of you played before, reminding yourself of all the different parts of your instrument. So we're gonna go over all the parts of the trumpet, all the parts of the trombone, and then we're gonna watch here together a video on how to put together or assemble your trumpet or your trombone. So that way, this will help prepare us for next week when we start checking out and using those instruments, okay? So if you already have an instrument at home, you could just be reviewing these with us. And, um, you know, when we do the classes at school in person, of course, I am there to help you out with putting things together or hand positions and things like that. Since we're all doing this from home and on video, it's still possible to do it, but it's really important that you put in this little bit of extra time, really learning all those parts, familiarizing yourselves, and hopefully some of you might have an adult at home who can help you out if you get a little tripped up with something. And of course, I will always help you in our live class sessions as well. All right, first you'll see I've got a diagram of the trumpet here. It shows you all the different pieces, points with a little arrow to each part and then tells you what its name is. So mouthpiece, valves, remember we said valve one, valve two, valve three, we talked about that with our fingers, the bell, etc. Those are all the parts right there. If you are going to be a trumpet player this year, I want you to do one of two things. If you have a printer at home, you are welcome to print out this diagram, it's gonna be available in your Google Classroom assignment. Or if you don't have um, a printer at home, even better is for you to just get a piece of paper and make your own drawing of the trumpet. And then you're gonna label all the parts. You're making a little trumpet diagram. You do not have to be an excellent artist to do this. It's not an art lesson, but a music lesson. So you can just draw your best sketch of the basic shape and parts of the trumpet and then label each one of them. Or if you are an artist or you really like art, you can go into even more detail and you can color it to make it look gold or some trumpets are silver, you can choose, okay? So that's the trumpet parts. There's also an image available for all the trombone parts. So if you are a trombone player this year, you're gonna do the same thing. You could either print this out if you do have a printer or don't stress if you don't, just grab a piece of paper and go ahead and draw your own trombone to the best of your ability and label all the parts. Again, drawing it and writing the names locks it into your brain and that's what we want. We want everyone to start learning all the names of all the parts. So even people who played before sometimes don't remember all the names of all the different parts of their instruments. So this should be a learning experience for everyone. We're gonna take a little bit of time together right now to watch a couple videos. The first video is about how to assemble the trumpet and the second one is about how to assemble the trombone. Everyone can watch them all together. Even if you're a trumpet player, you can watch the trombone part and vice versa because it will help you learn about uh, two different brass instruments that have some similarities and some differences. Let's watch the how to assemble the trumpet video first. Hi, my name is Eric Patterson. I'm a teacher with Children's Music Workshop. And today I'm going to show you how to hold your trumpet, how to make a sound, and how to play a note. Start by putting your trumpet case on the floor. That way it's not going to fall and break. I have mine on my lap, but I want you to put yours on the floor. Next, unhook the clasps or buttons, whatever you happen to have on your case, and open up your trumpet case. The first piece we're going to grab is the main body of the trumpet. Take it out of its case. Next. Get the mouthpiece. Take it out. Now simply find this small hole here. Put the skinny end of your mouthpiece into the trumpet like this. Gently. Don't push. Don't hit. Gently like that so it's not going to go anywhere but you don't need to jam it in there because it could get stuck. That's very true. <laughs> don't let that happen. Now you've got a completed trumpet. All right. Now I'm going to move on to 
the assembling the trombone video. Hi, my name is Jane Marie, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up a trombone. Start by placing your case on the floor with the label facing upwards. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to oil the slide of your trombone. Firstly, we need to release the slide lock. Now carefully slide your slide out and let the base of it rest on the floor. Now apply a small amount of valve oil to the inner slide. She's right, you don't need to allow the oil to work its way down. Now work the oil up and down the slide by moving the slide in and out. It should move freely and without force. Once you're done, put the slide lock back in place. Now keep the slide pointed downwards in your right hand with the taller part of the slide towards you. Now take the bell in your left hand so that the bell is facing away from you. Next, gently connect the taller end of the slide with the receiver on the bell. This is where you will find a screw. The two pieces should make a V shape. Then we gently tighten the screw at the joint so that the pieces will not come apart when you're playing. Finally, we're going to place the mouthpiece on the instrument. You do so by gently inserting the mouthpiece into the hole on the other end of the slide. Don't force it in or bang it as this will cause the mouthpiece to become stuck in the instrument. Same as he said with the So yeah, gentle is the key with how you put everything in and put everything together. So again, uh, now we've learned a little bit about the assembly of each of the instruments. You're going to go back into Google Classroom. You're going to find those images of all the parts of the trumpet or the trombone, depending on what your instrument is. If you have a printer, you can print it out and then relabel it. Or even better, you can just take your own paper draw a picture of your instrument, the trumpet or the trombone, and use little arrows to label all the different parts. You're going to use that picture on Google Classroom as your guide. You're just copying it. So you don't have to know all those parts off the top of your head yet, right? You're just copying it and that helps to lock it into your brain. I will see you guys in the Google Class Live meeting for trumpet and trombone. Don't forget, when it's your live class time, log back into your Google Classroom for trumpet and trombone. Go to the top of the Google Classroom page on that little class banner, there is a thing that says Meet link, and you click on that link for our Google Meet class meeting. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, and last but not least, don't forget, if you have a printout of your picture of the trumpet or trombone, or if you draw your own and you label it, then just take a picture of you holding up your, your drawing or your printout with the, your own labelings, and put that in your Google Classroom lesson. That way I will know you guys are working on memorizing all those parts. Thank you so much. I'll see you in Google Class Live. Bye.